For months now, scientists have been tracking this asteroid with growing interest, and thanks to a recent observation from the James Webb Space Telescope, a new possibility has emerged, a small but growing chance that this object could collide with the Moon on December 22, 2032. This isn't a doomsday headline, Earth is in the clear. But the Moon might not be, and for scientists, that might be exactly what they've been hoping for a rare chance to witness something extraordinary. So, what exactly is this asteroid? What's changed in its path? And why are researchers watching it so closely? Let's uncover how one rock, no larger than a building, is now rewriting the risk map of our skies. Discovered in late December 2024 by a ground-based survey, Asteroid 2024 YR4 immediately caught the attention of astronomers. It wasn't just another rock. Early models showed its orbit intersected Earth's, with a slim chance of impact in 2032. Initial calculations gave it a 3.1% probability of hitting Earth, just enough to raise concerns. This asteroid isn't massive on a cosmic scale, but at around 174 to 220 feet wide, roughly the height of a 20-story building, it's large enough to cause serious damage. A direct hit on Earth would unleash energy equivalent to 500 Hiroshima bombs, enough to obliterate a city. By mid-2025, JWST stepped in. Using its near-infrared camera, the telescope captured detailed observations of 2024 YR4 during two passes in April and May. These weren't casual snapshots, they allowed scientists to recalculate the asteroid's path with unmatched accuracy. The updated data confirmed the good news first. Earth is safe. The risk of a collision dropped to virtually zero. But buried in those same updates was a new possibility one that hadn't been clear in earlier simulations. The moon, it turns out, is now within the projected path, just barely, but enough to matter. New calculations show a 4.3% chance that 2024 YR4 could strike the moon on December 22nd, 2032. That's not high, but it's high enough to be taken seriously in planetary science circles. For comparison, most tracked near-Earth asteroids never cross even the 1% impact threshold for any target. This shift from Earth concern to lunar focus completely reframes the discussion. No longer a threat, 2024 YR4 becomes a potential experiment. And in science, a controlled impact isn't a disaster. It's a rare opportunity. Every crater we see on the moon is a memory, a record of ancient impacts going back billions of years. But we've never watched one form in real time from a known object. If 2024 YR4 strikes, it would be the first ever observed crater created by a precisely tracked asteroid. Impact science is central to planetary defense and to understanding how celestial bodies evolve. We've spent decades modeling how craters form, calculating energy transfer, debris patterns, and seismic shockwaves. But most of that work is based on indirect data. Old craters, small artificial impacts, or lab simulations. A direct hit from an asteroid of this size, with a measured trajectory, known mass, and predicted velocity, would offer validation or revision of those models. The expected outcome? A crater between 500 and 1,000 meters wide, forming in a vacuum with no atmosphere to slow the object down. The flash, the debris cloud, and the seismic ripple through the moon's crust could all be recorded in detail. Satellites already orbiting the moon, like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, could be retasked to capture the event. Future missions could place sensors or cameras in advance. And because the moon has no weather or erosion, that fresh scar would remain visible for generations, a permanent record of impact dynamics. 
Astronomers like Alan Fitzsimmons have openly expressed their curiosity. As he told New Scientist, it would not affect Earth, but would allow us to study the formation of a lunar crater by a known asteroid for the very first time. That kind of observation could feed directly into improving Earth impact predictions. It helps test early warning systems, refine damage estimates, and develop protocols for planetary defense, the same defense strategies that agencies like NASA, ESA, and others continue to expand. For now, 2024 YR4 is beyond our view. It's traveling through the outer solar system, out of range of Earth-based telescopes, but it will return. In 2028, it will make its next close approach to Earth and the Moon, and that will be a crucial moment. Astronomers plan to gather more data during that flyby to further refine the asteroid's orbit. Predictions, after all, are never final. Even tiny gravitational nudges from planets or thermal shifts from sunlight can slightly alter an asteroid's path over time, enough to make the difference between a miss and an impact. The 2028 observation campaign will likely include JWST again, along with radar imaging from Earth and potentially newer space telescopes. If the moon impact risk increases beyond the current 4.3%, space agencies may prepare dedicated observation missions, not to intervene, but to record. Even if the asteroid misses, the data will be valuable. Every new orbital measurement tests our models and reinforces our understanding of how small objects move through space. It also gives us a sense of confidence. We're getting better at finding, tracking, and predicting near-Earth objects, long before they become threats. The moon, of course, is in no danger. A hit from a 60-meter asteroid won't crack it or destabilize its orbit. At most, it'll gain a new crater, another mark in a long history of collisions. But for Earth, the lesson is broader. We're watching, we're improving. And tools like JWST, designed for deep cosmology, are proving unexpectedly useful for near-Earth safety as well. 2024 YR4 is no longer just an asteroid. It's a case study in how planetary defense, orbital mechanics, and observational astronomy come together, not in fiction, but in fact. As of now, asteroid 2024 YR4 poses no threat to Earth, but a 4.3% chance remains that it could strike the moon in late 2032. That's a small number, but large enough to make scientists take notice. If the impact happens, it would mark the first time we witness a known asteroid create a crater in real time.